This is the world's largest yet gathering around psychedelics and psychedelic research and plant medicine. It's incredible how much it's grown, how many people show up for psychedelic science now. We're in the middle of Oakland and it just makes me feel so happy to see so many people coming out and learning more about psychedelics and participating in this event. The experience working with psychedelics in relationship to a client is very different than the Western model. And it's not prescribed from above, it's responsive to what the patient is experiencing. If that dynamic succeeds, then that could be applied even without the substances. We cannot have peace in this world until we have peace within ourselves. Psychedelics are kind of like this, like sure you can go and do Vipassana meditation and do yoga for years and do these other healing modalities, but right now for the times that we live in, they're providing this avenue, this, this way in that is, is faster and quicker and more and immediately effective. There's a sort of soul level to healing which isn't being addressed. Our psychedelic medicine is bringing that issue to the forefront. As we look at the kind of problems that people are turning to these medicines for, problems which they're struggling to find healing with uh, Western medicine and, and the, the modern kind of healthcare system. And I think the biggest takeaway for therapists is that in using psychedelics, parts of the brain that normally resist moving into trauma experiences and reintegrating them in a healing way are kind of soothed and calmed by the psychedelic medication. I came to psychedelic medicine or spiritual plant medicine uh, because I got depressed in medical school. And psychedelic medicine is a way to kind of make up some ground and helping people to kind of open their minds and find out what is affecting them at an emotional level. We are facing a, a global crisis that has uh, many different facets, many different symptoms. They have one common denominator, which is the, the state of consciousness of our species. I don't think we're going to see mass change in our planet without integrating psychedelic therapy. And to show how, why it works, I think that helps people realize you know, this isn't just a fantasy of a few people doing a bit of research, but it actually is based on understandable neurophysiological changes. Trauma is part of being human and uh, you don't have to suffer forever. We're here, we're building a community, a very powerful community, and uh, we're going to do great things. It is, for me, the greatest hope for us to be able to continue to survive and then thrive and proliferate in positive ways on this planet. It's kind of nice for me at this conference just to see um, all the different ages here too. Yes, that's very nice. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, because we're realizing, obviously, that um, as productive as we've been, we're not going to be able to solve it all uh, on our own. <laughs> no, it's very nice to have a whole Go bunch hard, of Jeff. younger people. It's just the wealth of knowledge and the wealth of understandings of what all of these different substances could be doing in all these different areas. We believe that humans will be better served by accurate information. There is a evolution of knowledge that is necessary for our society to be able to make rational choices and policies and um, for individuals to be able to make their own good choices. I mean, it's like the single best use of money anyone could ever make. You know, MDMA just has huge therapeutic potential for addressing trauma. It's about busting open the gate for other psychedelic medicines to follow. Ibogaine for opiate addiction, psilocybin for end-of-life anxiety, um, but MDMA for PTSD is on track to really just bust through and cross over to the larger culture. We're at the very doorstep of a, of a revolution in thought, especially in healthcare, and we need that little key, you know, to make it happen. Every one of you matter. Every one of your thoughts matters. Every contribution, every little bit of energy matters. And that division between me and you, simply a persistent illusion, a byproduct of our non-bumblebee's eyes inability to see the atoms dancing. It all seems so solid, so heavy, and there's all this serious gravity, seriously. But, dearly beloved, this is mortality, 
The beauty of duality, the sweet severity of the material. This is the way of the earthly playground. You've got to get down to get up. I said, if you don't bend your knees, how will you ever jump?